Hello, hello everybody, and especially Logan, uh, Logan Mounts. Uh, this is Sparta! <laughs> That's my best impression of uh, your 300 subs contest. Wanted to shoot this one over to you. Uh, Logan, Logan is like, is like my little brother, but he's just so cool that you can't make fun of him. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's just, he's just, he's so fucking cool, man. You know, it's just, uh, oh, makes me wish I was a teenager again. <laughs> you know, whenever I watch it, whenever I watch your videos, man, just, you know, it brings me back to that point in my life where I was there. I, w I was in high school going into college and I was, you know, playing guitar and writing music all the time and I was with bands. But, you know, you take it to that extra level where you're actually out there putting it out there. So... Love and respect to you, my man, but let's just get into this. Uh, no more of the bromance. <laughs> so for your first question of the uh, four that you gave us to talk about, uh, show your most aggressive, intense, noisy, crap, whatever record. Uh, and this one just immediately came to mind. I might have something else that is more appropriate, but come on. Revelation Space! Kawabata Makoto's mainliner! Need I say anything more? <laughs> do you have this one, Logan? I don't know. I don't I, I don't know if you do, but God damn! Just noise, fuzzed out, reverb, shit! Fuck all over the place. I love it. <laughs> now, European bands. Uh, as, as you probably know, I am a big lover of uh, space rock, psychedelia, stuff like that, especially the modern stuff that they uh, are putting out. And a lot of it comes from Europe. So I did pull pulled out a few for you. But these, these are some awesome European bands. And it's pretty much all psychedelic space rock improvised shit like that. But the first one I got is uh, Kazuswe. Kaz 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 I don't know how you want to pronounce that name. But off the wonderful Impetus label. Uh, completely improvised space rock. Uh, very mellow at times. At other times, kicks up a notch. Really damn enjoy it. Uh, this comes out of uh, Denmark. Denmark for you. Uh, or the New Earth Group couldn't skip without talking about the wonderful New Earth Group. Uh, fusion music to the max. Unbelievably good. Uh, talked about them before, but they are from Holland, the Netherlands. Just showed this one a couple videos ago. Oh, the Orzen Space Collective. Again, from Denmark, just masterful. Uh, sort of a sweet sounding psychedelic space rock, entirely improvised, and uh, their, their songs have a tendency to start slow and sort of build to a crest. Really damn enjoy it. Uh, two from the same damn band here I pulled out. <laughs> space Debris, She's a Temple. These are the only two I have by the band. And their wonderful masterpiece, Elephant Moon, Space Debris is a, best way to put it is a kraut rock band, a modern kraut rock band. They sound like they're straight out of the 70s. So damn good. Oh, these guys are from Germany. German for ya. Vespero. Oh, sort of very floaty, psychedelic, Jams, uh, very space rock in my opinion. Uh, these guys are from Russia, Mother Russia. <laughs> and the last one I got to show for you is something a little different. This is an album I am just fucking in love with. And I have a couple other things out, but none of them sound like this record, so I haven't bothered investigating them yet. But Eventually, one day, I will cave in and get them. But the band I'm talking about is Wind. Whoa, baby. Wind. Album is Wind and Friends. I, 
the best way I could describe this album, and I've said it before, is pretty much just like Amandul meets John Coltrane. Just the freak out psychedelic John Coltrane that, uh, <laughs> you know, that uh, was his later works before he passed. Just so damn good. I mean, improvised, just sort of smooth, heavy jams with some crazy sax and flute and jazzy organ going on. Amazing. These guys from Norway. Alrighty. Oh, this record I got for you. Uh, covered her up. <laughs> uh, I do believe it's this one. Uh, and it's the uh, Modern Jazz Quartet's uh, Concord. Uh, do believe this is the first press. Uh, and it's from 1955. So I actually scored this in a thrift store for like a buck. <laughs> can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I do believe this is the oldest one I got. Uh, might have something else, but pretty damn sure this is the oldest one I got for you, Logan. Not as old as that 1951 you showed, but nonetheless. Now, as for your bonus question, I have got no damn clue. <laughs> uh, uh, aisle three comedy. Uh, uh, maybe you. Uh, maybe you. You're known for being a comedic in the. <laughs> The third aisle of the supermarket, or or maybe it's a, uh, maybe maybe it's a uh, maybe it's an old band name, aisle three, or or uh, uh, maybe it's a club you play at. Those are my guesses. I don't know. <laughs> Best I do for you. Uh, hope you dug. Hope you digging what you're seeing. Hope you digging what you're seeing. I hope you are doing well up in. Uh, uh, Frosty, <laughs> frosty Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. God, I love this album. Logan, my man, thank you for doing a contest. Congratulations, uh, you know. 300 is just the drop in the hat. You will be getting more, because that's just, you're too cool not to. <laughs> and for everyone else, until next time.